What do you think about the movie Selma? I think the movie was great. Uh, the movie depicts uh, history and what occurred, and it's pretty close to history, and I, I think that's the great part about it. We get a chance to see and be reminded from where we can have come and the kind of work that took place and sacrifices that people made, the kind of risks that they took, how they put themselves into it and their families, and what is necessary in order to achieve uh, great goals. This, there are people who work constantly in the background, who take the risk, who get with their families, who stick together and make things happen. And I think that's what uh, Selma did uh, in terms of the movie. It shows us what occurred in history. It reminds us what has to be done. And it, it shares with younger people who were not there or have not experienced that or don't understand it, what it's really all about in terms of uh, the kinds of sacrifices that are necessary to grow and make progress, particularly in the country and race relations and civil rights and the economic development in our community. Did any certain scene impact you more than others? Two scenes. The first scene where the bombing occurred uh, at the church in Birmingham, I think it's the 16th Avenue Baptist Church. Uh, the, the Councilwoman Moon was sitting next to me and she as well as others jumped uh, when the explosion occurred and that's the kind of impact it had and it took her a few moments to recover. I actually heard some people in tears and I was choking up myself because you, we saw the impact. That is a powerful moment when that explosion occurs and you see the little girl's feet in the air. Imagine how they were blown away in that, in that situation and that's reality. That's not meanness. That's the reality of what occurred and we need to see that and understand what happened within our own country. Uh, to our own people and to little innocent children on a Sunday morning. That's terrorism at its greatest height, at its worst, within our own country that we need to understand and help others understand that we have to do better in our country in terms of our relationships and helping people get rid of that hatred and mean-spiritedness that existed. The other uh, key part of the film was when they went to cross the bridge and when the troopers uh, took off and came on the, um, the marches and beat them down, where we saw Miss Amelia Boynton Robinson and uh, Congressman Lewis at that time beaten down with the billy clubs and just trampled upon and beaten like they weren't even human. And I, I'll say a third also was when they shot Jimmy Lee Jackson, and that was, uh, that was a powerful one. The other powerful moment was when they had the beating of uh, Reverend Reed, the white minister who had come down from the north, to participate in the march and he was beaten to death. That and the killing of Jimmy Lee Jackson was just, it was, there were powerful moments. I was amazed at the detail that was in the movie, some of which a lot of people today don't know about. And um, I was thinking that perhaps we could use this movie as a training tool for our young advocates that are coming up to show them exactly how much time and care and, and uh, detail went into the planning. It wasn't just a haphazard type of march. It was planned out, they had strategy, and they understood what they were going for. And that's something I think we're lacking in today's planning. So it was a, it was a, a variety of emotions that I felt while I was watching Selma. Well, what scene in the movie uh, really touched your heart and soul? Well, it's hard to pick one, but as far as uh, peaking my awareness, it was a scene where Dr. King uh, expressed the fact that it wasn't about him, it was about the people. And whether he made it with them to the sunny days or not was not the point. The point was it was about doing what was best for the people. Kudos to Paramount Pictures, Oprah Winfrey Productions, Brad Pitt Productions, um, Path International. It was an outstanding film. All of the principal actors, all of the uh, cast members, extended cast, meaning, you know, the uh, extras. Um, just a fantastic job. Um, wonderful depiction of real life history, what actually happened in 1965, reminding us um, how far we've come, but yet how far we saw have to go. What, what uh, scene pricked you the toughest? Um, when Jimmy Lee Jackson's grandfather, Cajun Lee, was attacked at the cafe um, 
I, I broke down into tears. I broke down into tears. And when they shot him, um, it was very heart-wrenching for me. And then probably in the next scene was just to see our people being beaten and tear-gassed and left for dead and on the Edmund Pettus Bridge on March 7th, 1965. So I'm really hoping that young people will see the parallel and that will uh, just, uh, uh, just inspire them to want to be organized and, and to mobilize and most importantly to exercise their political uh, power. They have got to get to the polls, they've got to register to vote. The site was most appropriate the home of Queen Mother Amelia Boynton Robinson, the matriarch of the voting rights movement. It was so moving when she rolled in, smiling, smiling, and as she sat there through the entire movie. From my perspective, I did participate in the Bloody Sunday March. I flew down and uh, joined the march in Lowndes County. So for me, it was reflective, it was historical. But one of the most moving scenes in that movie was when the young lady went to get registered to vote and was denied. I had the same experience here in Macon County where I went down twice to get registered to vote and I failed their literacy test. It was only when I was able to recite the preamble to the Constitution that Lionel Richie's mother had taught me in the fourth grade that I received my right to vote. And from this day, that day to this, I have only missed one election. I must say finally that this is a must film for all Americans and especially African Americans. Um, a powerful experience watching it here today in the presence of uh, Miss Amelia Boyne Robinson, a lady that has done so much for African Americans and all Americans and is a big part of where I am today um, in a position to serve my people as a young elected official. It was, it, down. it was extremely, extremely impactful. Uh, the film, I think, really personified the movement in a way that inspired me. And, you know, I've never been more ready to go out and change the world than I am right now after seeing this movie. A little late when I got off work, so um, I wasn't able to watch the whole film. But from what I saw, it looked very interesting. It looked like it was a big budget production, so it um, was very well made, I would say. Um, and I was really pleased to see Queen Mother portrayed in a positive way. Um, I would have loved for the credits at the end to highlight the fact um, when it was like going through the different characters like Andrew Young and John Lewis and President Johnson. I would have enjoyed for it to maybe stop on Queen Mother and acknowledge the fact that she's still alive so that people across America can pay homage um, to a living legend, a living icon. So that's something I would have loved to have seen in the movie, but other than that, it did look like it was another historic biopic made in this era. I think this movie was just a pivotal moment in time. As I look back on that time period, I was a sophomore uh, at uh, Alabama State College before I transferred to Tuskegee. And we met the marchers. We were one of the students, when I said we, Mrs. Anderson and I, who was also here tonight, we were one of the students who met the marchers when they got to the Capitol. So to me, it was the most powerful, most moving aspect of those times that I had seen in a long, long time. I think the director did an excellent job, and we were privileged to see the movie here at Queen Mother's Home. The most exciting thing that happened to me by watching the replay of the Selma March to Montgomery. And one thing I always learned from the movement that Martin Luther King said, he said, one thing we learned from the movement is that we learned how to straighten up our backs. So a man can't rise you unless your back is bent. So our backs are straight and we're moving forward. Thank you very much. Thanks to Mr. Ms. Ms. Robinson and my Luther King and all the other freedom right workers uh, living past gone. And uh, it, it's just amazing. I'm, I'm, ex I'm excited. I'm going to go out and register people to vote.
this year mm -hmm. like they like I never registered uh, work before. I'm going to go out and uh, work for them to be signed up for Obamacare, support President Barack Obama. It was a tear jerk, jerk for me when Jimmy Lee ja Jackson uh, was shot and killed and the reaction of the family, the mother and uh, the father and how it impacted them and then certainly Dr. King came there to the morgue where the father was with uh, the son looking through the window at his body and you saw the tears well up in Dr. King's eyes. All of that served as a very powerful moment for me and we truly have a great debt that we owe to those forebears and pioneers who made what happened happen then. And for us to allow those things to be reversed, those achievements I'm talking about, to be reversed, where our people no longer can really look at the progress and see it continuing. Uh, I think we've got, we're, we have a great debt to pay uh, to keep that from happening. SCLC uh, and SNCC, uh, showed me that old folks and young folks can work together to accomplish something significant. In that car ride with Dr. King, when he shared with Dr. King what he got from him that, has, that motivated him to stand as he was standing, I thought that was very powerful too because it said to me that, yes, I'm in the movement as a young person, but I'm listening to what our elders say and I'm taking it to heart so that then I can take what they have taught me and use it as a young person to go forward in the future. That is a movie that finally is telling a story that is really needed to be told. You know, there's so much connected with uh, not just the civil rights movement, but just equal rights and uh, people, human rights uh, that came out of Alabama. And here is a story that hadn't we hadn't heard uh, so many of the details. You know, you might have heard the term, um, you know, uh, Jackson, you know, um, Tommy okay. Lee getting killed. But here it came out in living color, and also uh, all of what was behind the scenes to make the news items that came out on the national news uh, reality. Um, th th this brought it into human uh, footsteps so that uh, people can really learn from. And I'm hoping that, you know, we can really see this result in helping uh, children uh, learn a little bit more about their history and get more interested in knowing what took place. I was really uh, blessed by the movie. Uh, I, I thought it was a, a very historically accurate and poignant uh, portrayal of that uh, Selma to Montgomery uh, march and all of the, the background behind it. Uh, there were so many ordinary people who decided that enough was enough and and I think it's, it speaks volumes to those who think that they can't make a difference. I was really moved by the, the Mr. Lee, the 82 year old man whose son told him uh, you're gonna vote before you leave here and unfortunately his son didn't make it but I, I think it speaks volumes to, to uh, our young people uh, I appreciated what Oprah Winfrey said about uh, the movie and the fact that not only did it portray uh, the march, but also the strategies behind the march. So I'm hoping that, that this uh, movie will, will touch uh, the lives of our young people to remind them that they have a charge to keep. You know, the, the, the movement was not a movement of old folk but it was a movement of young people who were willing to put themselves on the line for those that would come behind them. So uh, I, I was really moved. I was honored to be able to share that moment with, um, uh, with Queen Mother uh, Amelia Boynton Robinson. Uh, and I too am committed uh, to uh, asking people to work for uh, getting her the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Uh, I'm going to be posting it on my Facebook page. I'll be sending out tweets periodically. 
I'm going to ask all my family to log into whitehouse.gov and let them know that this woman, this one woman who dared to step out there and remind people that we have the blood of royalty running through our bodies.